Titanoboa, discovered in Colombia. Its official name is Titanoboa cherryhonensis. With a length 15 meters and weighing just over 1,000 kilograms, it would be almost three times the size of a giant anaconda. If you're a person of average height, its one meter girth would be as high as your waist. Fortunately, or maybe unfortunately, you'd be most likely to find a Titanoboa when you're both hunting for fish or swimming. It's a matter of physics. Moving around in the water is much easier for creatures like huge whales and this snake, rather than being on land. And although living in the trees has never been an option for this great snake, it could trek inland on occasion. Scientists are speculating that it belongs to the snake family called boids. They're non-venomous snakes, which sounds pretty safe, but titanoboas might use teeth to grab a hold of their prey. And it's been said that the teeth can bend like curved hooks sticking into you. The more the prey struggles, the more it gets hooked. Then they squeeze their prey. After a few minutes, ischemia happens. Blood flow to the heart or brain is restricted, causing a shortage of oxygen and eventually death. Fossils show that the Titanoboa's lower jaw extends past the back of the skull, giving it a greater range of movement when opening its mouth. It could swallow you in one piece. Titanoboa probably fed on giant turtles and primitive crocodiles, which were about six meters in length. A snake this size would probably have to eat about 40 kilograms of food every day. That's twice as much as an anaconda. These snakes are killers that can move easily in the water. Humans might be an ideal snack. Places such as Australia seem to coexist with dangerous snakes, but the sheer massiveness of a titanoboa would dwarf anything we're used to. Titanoboas would prefer a hot, damp, jungle-like area like the Amazon. Snakes rely on heat from outside their bodies to survive. About 58 million years ago, Titanoboas lived in an environment about five degrees warmer than it is today. Maybe we'd find these giant snakes in Asia, or what about a place like Florida? It's sweltering and humid for part of the year. Because of its massive body, roughly the size of a small car, it would most likely hide in hot, swampy areas or lakes. This allows it to hunt more efficiently. Alligators lounging around golf course lakes are common in Florida, and the Titanoboa could easily be attracted to this food haven. And if there are no alligators on the menu that day, what would be the next best option? Golfers. This snake will be able to control many areas, and animals such as raccoons, deer, and many more will always be in danger. Although the Titanoboa is extinct, we recommend you stay clear of giant snakes. In 2018, an Indonesian woman was swallowed by a giant python. So if the giant Titanoboa still existed, it would be a big problem.